Okay, so I don't even know if this is going to work. This is the first time I've ever done this. But anyway, got the uh, winch set up here and might have to do something about this mount because I saw, I got this idea from like the winch in a bag and I don't know, like Warren's got like a snow winch that's kind of similar to that you just mount it with a strap. Uh, and I have the strap laying around and some hardware and I just put a piece of angle iron on the mounting plate down here and, you know, cut a bunch of, a couple holes in it. And uh, anyway, it's kind of hanging to the side kind of funny, so I, I got to figure, I got to figure something out there. Maybe if I put the strap on differently. Uh, anyway, though... I'm gonna go. I already got it uh, hooked up to a tree up there, and uh, got it taut. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a review on this winch or something after this is done. But basically, I like this winch is nice because it came with 49 feet of rope. It's a Champion 2,000 pound winch you can get on Amazon, and it came with a fair lead. It came with the mounting uh, hard the mounting uh, bracket or whatever mounting plate um, it's uh, got a free spooling clutch here here's the remote control it powers in and out it's actually meant to go on an ATV uh, handlebar um, and then the the leads are the leads are just long enough to you know to do this to run it through I've got it running through there on the snowmobile to the battery and uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish that it had a different kind of controller that you could hook up to, like, the solenoid or something, but, uh, whatever. This is good enough. It was way cheaper than, like, the winch in a bag or the snow winch or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and set this, try to set this camera up, and I don't even know if this is going to work. We'll see. That's awesome. It's working so far. I'm gonna give it a little break because uh, you're not really supposed to use the. Well, I don't know. The instructions say don't use it for more than a minute at or near for full load, which I don't know. I mean, this has got to get be approaching the full full load capacity. I don't think that this is 2,000 pounds, but it's like you know, I don't know. The snowmobiles at least there's somewhere around 800 pounds, and then the all the stuff I got in it and that sled and that log is probably 500 pounds or better uh, so I'm over a thousand pounds at least um, and it's going really slowly it's kind of thing seems like it's working hard but it is working so uh, thumbs up so far pretty happy with this this is a hell of a lot faster than using come along a lot easier than using come along so cool mm, I don't know maybe I'll uh, adjust the camera and show the rest of the pole. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to do, uh, yeah, maybe, probably not the whole rest of the pole, but at least half of the rest of the pole. Better make sure the uh, battery's recharging. Uh, 
properly it seems like it's drawing a lot of juice but I mean it's working so uh, I don't know uh, starting to go a little slower I guess winches are rated only for the, the first spool on the drum so they get less and less so it's probably getting towards its limit now now that it's got a few spools on the drum um, but anyway this is way better way no matter how much I have to wait for it to cool down or whatever you know way better than uh, using the come along way faster so far um, yeah it hasn't gotten like hot to the touch yet either so I think that's a good sign you know being 20 degrees or so out that that probably helps a little bit let's see if it's ready to pull a little bit more definitely starting to get a little bit warm there um, I only got five feet left here or so of the line so I'm actually gonna attach it to a different tree and uh, pull it just a little bit further I just want to get the uh, sled to about this point so maybe about I don't know another 10 or 15 feet of pull okay I'm gonna finish up the uh, pull here and hopefully drive away um yep i let it cool off for a while been putzing around and clearing the trail a little further back for the past uh 15 or 20 minutes so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try to. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drive away now and see if it works. So I'll come get the camera and hopefully this will work. I'm past the steepest part of the hill. That wasn't too bad to show too. This is really convenient how this works with my snowmobile, although I am going to get some quick disconnects. But uh, I just ran it out through this little uh, hole thingy, the air vent thingy, straight to the battery, which is like right under the steering uh, column. So, and then uh, see, it just kind of goes right in my uh, compartment there it fits almost perfectly it was like almost like it was made for it like and even that has like a little bit of uh well anyway yeah so yeah okay try to haul this uh log the rest of the way up you can see i got the sled to the the more or less it's not totally flat here but it's like flat or then we got another uphill right over there but that's not as steep the it's completely the log is completely past the steepest part where I got stuck so
I barely made it, but uh, I did make it. I had to back up there to get a little bit of a little bit of a running start. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, there's the logs. About uh, three or four of the biggest ones there. I had to uh, basically do what I just did, only with a you know a manual come along. Um, that was a pain in the butt because those come alongs you gotta you know they're only like 10 or 15 feet long that's at least got a 50 foot cable so just readjusting every time and whatnot it's kind of a pain in the butt here's some more log tops and some more logs and yeah we're gonna build a cedar log sauna so yeah it's gonna be great anyway hope you enjoyed this video Maybe I'll put them on the come logs too if there's like enough interest. I don't know. If people want to see me suffer and do things the hard way. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.